I used to teach composition to young kids. That's one of the many, many hats I've worn in my life. And part of the problem with teaching a young person to compose is that there sometimes is a gap between their imagination and their technical skill. So what I would say is for a young girl who would like to try to write music, don't worry about the writing of it at first. Sit down at the piano or what the guitar, whatever instrument, and make up a piece about something. This is really the most critical element. It's very, very daunting to sit at your instrument and say, well, I'm going to make up a piece of music. That really doesn't work very well. But if you say... I'm going to make up a piece of music about, well, Halloween is coming, so I think I'll make up a scary piece of music. That's, that's always the first assignment I would give my students. And they can come up with some really incredible things. So try to get the imagination piece going. Just think of, it can be anything. It can be what you ate for dinner last night. It can be how much you adore your little brother. It can be, or dislike your little brother. Or it can be anything. But don't worry about the notation at first. Sit down at your instrument and make up the piece and repeat it so that you know how it goes. Then record yourself playing it. Then make up a picture notation. So that's, that's also a really critical element because I think that music notation is a very, very difficult craft to learn and to teach. Very important. But as you are on the path of learning music notation, you shouldn't, that doesn't mean you shouldn't try your hand at composing. So what I often tell students to do is to make a picture, a graph, or even just take a bunch of crayons and try to draw your own pictural notation for your piece so that you can put that picture on the piano and be able to play your piece. Um, I've gotten really incredible results from that. And the, the other thing I would say is for young girls especially, if you are learning about classical music, you'll notice that there aren't too many girl composers. Um, there's Clara Schumann, who was married to Robert Schumann, who stopped composing when she was 20, when she got married to Robert Schumann. Our, our women composer role models from the past aren't necessarily the best role models because they almost all stopped composing when they got married, if they got married. Um, if they didn't get married, they may not have had long lives. It, it's not... Um, the way we live our lives now. So I would say don't worry about there not being too many role models from the past. This is our opportunity to become role models for the younger girls. Um, and don't let anyone tell you you can't do something. Um, I never had anyone tell me I couldn't compose because I was a girl, but I did. I do remember people telling me that... Um, Girls shouldn't be too smart because then the boys might not like you or whatever. I don't think that people do that now. But the point is people may tell you you can't do something. And you should really think about, is, is that really true that I can't do that? I think a better attitude would be to think that you can do anything and then find out later that maybe something needs a little extra work. But um, just have the imagination to think that you can do anything, basically.